In these problems, we're trying to find the greatest common factor of two monomials, so a number multiplied by a variable to a certain power. Uh, so these two expressions, we want to ask, what could we divide both of them by and still have the, the numbers come out even? What's the biggest thing we could divide them both by? When you get good at this, you've been experienced at it, you'll probably just be able to see this pretty quickly. What's the greatest common factor for the number part and what's the greatest common factor for the, the variable part? But until then, there's a foolproof method for finding the greatest common factor, and that is just list all the factors. So if we took 15 n cubed, let's do the number part first. What are the factors of 15? Well, 1 times 15 and 3 times 5, and I think that's it. So that didn't take too long. Those are all the factors of 15. How about the factors of n to the third? Well, n to the third is really n times n times n. So let's just expand it like that. All right, now let's do the same thing for 4 n to the fourth. Again, we've got 1 and 4, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so 2 is a factor, and that's it. And then we have n to the fourth, so it's n times n times n times n. Once you've got all the factors listed out, what you do is figure out what they have in common. What's the biggest part they have in common? For the numbers, there's not a lot going on here. The biggest number they have in common is actually the number 1. So that's our number part. For the n's, we've got three n's here. We've also got three n's here. So they have three n's in common. So that is n to the third that they have in common. And we multiply our number part times our variable part. We have one times n to the third, or just n to the third. So this is the greatest common factor. You could divide this one by n to the third. You'd end up with 15. You could divide this one by n to the third. You'd end up with 4n. Uh, and uh, and all the division comes out even still. All right, let's try another one. Here we have 10a and 25w to the third. So let's go ahead and list out those factors. Let's see the number part. The factors of 10 are 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. I think that's it. And then a, well, we just have a. And let's try 25w to the third. Factors of 25, we've got 1 and 25 and 5, and I think that's it. So you can see, well actually let's do the w part here, w to the third is w times w times w. Now you can see on the number part we've got a 5 in common. So there's a number we've got in common. How about the variable part? Here we've got an a, here we've got three w's, that is nothing in common. So this by itself, this 5 is the greatest common factor, the, the greatest thing that you could divide out of both of these evenly. So that is how to find the greatest common factor of two monomials.